I just wanted to sing the praises of Vivaldi once again. I've been using it for about a month, and I just, the more I use it, the more I'm really impressed. There's so many neat features in here, and some you don't see until you get to using it quite a lot. And uh, here, this is my speed dial page. I've set up folders for email, news, cloud storage, personal use, Manjaro, for example. And really, it's just a, um, a folder for additional links. So if I click on that, and it came preloaded with BBC and Daily Mail. I added some local ones for me, but I haven't removed these yet. And it's very simple to remove. You just click X to get rid of one. So I really love the speed dials how easy it is the one complaint I do have them you can't drag and drop your uh, links into a folder so for example I can't take um, you know a Amazon and drop it into cloud storage see it won't won't fit in a folder so hopefully at some point they'll let you do that and achieve it but it's a it's a really nifty design and I like it and uh, I've been enjoyed using it in addition to the speed dials Another function I've seen is, uh, I saw it first in Chrome, but I'll open up another page here. Normally I don't ever run with more than six tabs open, but here we're, we're accessing Steam. Let's go to Games, and now let's go to uh, Games, Steam, and Linux. And we'll just click on number one, which is Counter-Strike, and down here, it'll often auto-load and start running videos embedded in the web page and with steam it the defaults set to uh, no volume so I'll just that turn the volume on when I did that up here on the tab you can see I have a little speaker icon running okay now that's apparent in Chrome too so if I added another window and I wanted to go to my Manjaro forum it would still be playing sometimes I might open four or five tabs right right away to get going and one of them will auto play something and I might not want to be listening to it so I can just click simply mute it from here without actually having to enter that page in Chrome at least in my version of Chrome I can't mute it from the tab icon or bar so that's a real neat feature in addition to having that feature as I open up more uh, web pages I can actually scroll this down and get a graphical view of my pages and my tabs that are open. That's really neat. I like that a lot. And uh, I also have a trash can icon here and the ability to minimize and maximize and close out there. So that's a neat little added feature that I just stumbled on by accident the other day. You know, I have the normal refresh and home over there. Now, a browser makes money by pretty much by the search bar and advertisements. And I can't remember which search um, Vivaldi started with, whether it was Bing or Google, but I set it to default to DuckDuckGo, as I like them. Now, if I need to do an intricate search, I usually will switch to Google, because I find it to be the most comprehensive and best search engine for complicated strings. Having a search engine for Wikipedia right there is very handy, and Bing is a little more graphical oriented. So I go there sometimes. But for most of my searches, I'm not doing anything too complicated, and DuckDuckGo is more than uh, sufficient for me. Now, I do still use other browsers. I have my distro watch up here in an ICE, and that's only geared to Firefox or Chrome, and it's set now to Firefox. Uh, another neat thing about Vivaldi, you know, is it is it does take the, all the Chrome extensions, and I have my two neat ones up here, Adblocker Plus and Privacy Badger, and they do a good job of uh, removing unwanted advertisements and trackers, and I can also turn them on or off, and then uh, actually uh, scale them to each of the different websites I go to. So it's just a really well thought out, very customizable program, and one last thing I wanted to show you is if I go into uh, so I go into eBay up here in the right I'll see you can see how well I'm loading right there so that's pretty neat I blocked nine ads and two privacy so if I click on that let's see it shows me what's running 
just a really uh, nice browser to use. It's very customizable, and I really like some of the advanced features that it has on it. Now, if it would add the ability to use bitcoins to make um, donations to frequently visited websites that I wanted to support, like Brave has, that would be another uh, feather in its cap. And I think if it just on the speed dial page, if I could uh, customize that by dragging and dropping, that might make it a little easier too. And finally, if it would look at uh, adding VPNs officially through them rather than through an extension, that might be another nice feature too. So anyhow, Vivaldi is well worth your time to look at. And I think it is a very, very viable alternative browser to Chrome. Pretty much the only thing I'm using Chrome for now is to uh, watch Amazon Prime movies on, which in Linux is pretty much the only place you can. And uh, I also use it for some YouTube features. But other than that, Vivaldi is turning into being my main browser after having looked at quite a few models over this month. Thanks for watching.